Esther. Hey. Hey, Corday. <laughs> that was an awesome show. Congrats. I'm like all pumped up and everything. Yeah. Oh, well, look at your fan base. Make some noise, people. <laughs> it was great, hey, Jen. There were more people than that here, though. I'm just. Oh, saying. yeah, it was packed. Saying. It was packed. Yeah. It was a packed house in here. It, <laughs> it really was. Great show. Amazing. Thank you so much. What, what an honor to be part of this whole thing. You know, this first cruise for Sweet, so um, I'm excited. Sweet's inaugural cruise, and it's probably going to do a lot for your song, Sweet. So did Shannon ask you to write it, or did you just come up with that idea? You know, I was trying to remember that the other day, and I think Shannon planted a seed about maybe you could write a song, and, and then I just sort of ran with it and wrote it and called her, and it just fell, came together. I keep seeing the This is a sweet song, and everyone can sing. just finished watching Jen Foster and look at her line of people she's signing CDs we're gonna talk to her in just a minute Jen Foster so some beautiful songs some funny songs um, you know you really are a great storyteller all the way around so you're from Nashville I'm fr well no I actually I'm from Houston Texas but I live in Nashville but I've lived in LA where you live so six years in LA you're all over the place you still live there <laughs> Sorry. I'm in I mean, I love LA. I love it. You know what? I try to make sure I save from Long Beach. We're very different from LA. Oh, there I, you go. Yeah. There you go. It is. I'm really not about the LA scene. Really different. Yeah, you're right. You're right. More Orange County and Long Beach. We should do more shows together. Yes, we should. I'm 
I'm, I'm ready to come out there, girl. So tell me about your Home Depot song, So Funny. What's the title of that? <laughs> yeah, it's called Home Depot. It's about a uh, butch girl falls in love with a femme girl, and they end up going to the Home Depot all the time. And they strap on a tool belt, you know. That one was awesome. <laughs> My girlfriend especially liked Taken, I, which kind of worries me, because it's about being in love with someone else. <laughs> was that a personal, was that inspired by a story? Uh, personal? Um, y yeah, kind of. Um, it, yeah, it was, actually. Um, okay, I sorry, we'll stop that story. All right. I don't want to upset anyone. No, yes. Right, we're trying to keep the peace here. And I like um, your opening song, you Give Someone Your Coat. Oh, yeah, that was, um, I, I just wrote that after uh, going to a Ray LaMontagne concert. I don't know if you've ever heard of Ray, but he's an amazing songwriter. And I heard him play at the Ryman in Nashville. And it just, he has all those influences, Bob Dylan, Otis Redding, and it just, like, soul, folk, and everything. And that song just came out after coming to that show, so. Right on. It was great. And about giving back to the community, which is what Sweet is doing here, so. I know. It's amazing what Sweet's doing. I, did, did you hear what I said about the nine pallets, of, huge pallets of food that Norwegian Cruise Line donated to the people of Rotan so you know because they were inspired by sweet and what what they're about isn't it awesome so you see what one person does it starts you know kind of a chain reaction here so right. it is amazing right. speaking of Bob Dylan you have a song taking Bob Dylan and about a you're breakup good. You're right good. I, I love your segues you're like a professional here <laughs> pretty good welcome to girl rock <laughs> that was great I see it's a bonus track on here are these your latest two you know uh, hold one actually, okay this is everybody's girl my first record okay and there is a middle one, which I don't know what happened. Either the underdogs? We lost them. Okay. Okay. <laughs> the underdogs is the second one, and this is my latest one called 39. Cool. And um, I'm always recording now, though. I'm, the cool thing about online, being online is just in online marketing is that you can just put music out. I could do a demo today and right. put it online to tomorrow and it's it's you know it's amazing how quickly you can get music to people now. So I haven't even you know I've got a lot of songs I wrote since making this record even so. So even newer stuff so they can just google you or go to your site? They can google me uh, jenfoster.com uh, myspace.com slash jenfoster or uh, face Facebook too I, Twitter I mean you, we gotta have it's crazy. it's crazy it's crazy we gotta have like 17 million um, um, social network sites. So it drives me insane. Yeah. Do you Twitter? I, I try to have, you know, honestly, I have some friends help help me do my Twitter. You know what? Me too, between you and me. But it looks personal. Hey, don't tell anyone. Yeah, <laughs> no, it really is us, though. It, it really is us. I Okay, here's what I do. If it's personal, it's from me. And sometimes there's like a, an update that says, check right. out Jen's new album. Well, that's usually Christy Sharshall over there who's right. holding the guitar. Okay. She's my online manager, so, you exactly. know. Exactly. We got to have help. It gets so overwhelming. So, but you'll answer the personal stuff. It's true. She'll answer everything. I, do. I respond to all my fan emails personally. I really do. It may take me a while, but I get back to everyone. We will be there. We're just joking about that. That's right. <laughs> uh, Jen Foster, incredible musician, super sweet person. Um, you got to meet her and you got to go to her show. So, jenfoster.com, you can probably find all your other sites from there. So right? much. Yes, yeah. yes, she can. And, and I love your cowboy hat. Okay, we, um, I just ran into Dipstick <laughs> she, from Curve. Are you rolling? Are we rolling? Rolling. Hello. Hello, check. <laughs> Is it good now? Okay, I just ran into dipstick. Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm great. It's been so great to meet you in person. We always talk, you know, online. Right, and like, I read your stuff, and you read my stuff. I read your stuff. Okay, so lipstick and dipstick. you got to read the column. It's in Curve Magazine. Do you guys fight like that in person? Um, yes, all the time. We, we get we get in big scuffles. It's How bad. do you guys do? You guys write it together. Do you know what she's gonna say before you do it, or do you guys both write separately and then you just turn it in and then? Um, we know each other so well now that we pretty much know what the other person's gonna say. And sometimes, like if we get a question in, I'll be like, "Lips is gonna say this, so I'm gonna say this." Right? Huh? And you guys aren't girlfriends or anything. You're just our friends. Yeah, we're just. <laughs> cohorts. She's my work wife. Awesome. Well, check it out, you guys. Curvemag.com. You can see it online. Or, of course, buy the magazine. Curve Magazine. I'm a writer, too. Yes. Curvemag.com. Awesome. She's, um, she gave a nice speech. She's um, having her 35th anniversary? 20. 25th. Oh, sorry. Sorry. She's a young chicken. And 76th birthday today. And it's her 76th birthday today. Yeah. Yes. Serious. Sagittarius. Oh, Scorpio. She's a Scorpio. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> 
Show us your. Give me that guitar, Sharshal. Come on. <laughs> now, 39. Now, why 39? 